Hi guys, uh, Paul again here and uh, it's been a week since uh, our car sales page went online and uh, we got a lot of questions for you from you and we plan to answer those later on but first uh, we just wanted to make sure that uh, nobody's confused about the types of R34s we have for sale because even though there are just a couple of different models there's a lot of different specifications between them and um, while I did mention that uh, briefly in a previous video uh, today we just want to look more into it to make sure uh, you know exactly which car is which. Good, so let's start from the obvious, the GTR. Now, there are a lot of different specifications uh, for the GTR as well, so the V-Spec, the V-Spec 2, so on, but uh, the base is the same. The GTR has the 2.6 liter RB26 DTT twin turbo engine. It's the only one paired with the six-speed six manual and uh, it also is available only as a coupe. It has uh, four-wheel drive naturally as well as four-wheel steering. Now, this honestly is the rather easy part because next we move on to the ER34. And uh, you probably cannot really see me any longer, but that's okay. So, uh, sorry, the ER34 is available uh, in three basic specifications. So there's the 25 GT with uh, a naturally aspirated RB25DE engine. Uh, it's available uh, with a five-speed manual or a, a four-speed automatic transmission. And uh, you can have it both, both as a four-door and as a two-door. Now it uh, does not have four-wheel drive. No, it's rear rear wheel driven. It also does not have four-wheel steering. Now, uh, the next of the lot is the 25 GTT, the GT Turbo. And, as you might have guessed already, it comes with the turbo version of the RB25. So it's the RB25 DET. And it's also available both as a 5-speed manual for a speed automatic. Uh, you can have it with two doors or four doors. And uh, it's rear wheel driven as well, but it does offer uh, four wheel steering. Good, great. Next is the GTV. Uh, again, it's a non turbo with the RB25DE and the rest of the story is the same. You can have it as a 5-speed uh, manual or 4-speed automatic, uh, coupe, sedan and uh, it's rear wheel driven but it does have 4-wheel steering. Uh, so yeah, these are the three basic specs but uh, this is where it really gets confusing. There's also the 25 GTX Turbo. Yeah, which isn't really even listed by Nissan as an actual uh, specification. So the difference is, uh, it's actually, okay, it's based on the GT Turbo. It only comes with four doors. 
and there's some differences in the trim. But again, it's based on the uh, turbo. So that's that. But really confusing stuff. Uh, and I hope this video will help you even a little bit uh, to go through all the different variations of the R34 more smoothly. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. Uh, yeah, good. So let's go uh, to the next spec. Next up is the ENR34. It's the one with four-wheel drive. So. Uh, the basic model is the 25 GT4. Uh, it comes with the non-turbo RB25. You can have it both uh, as a manual and automatic uh, with four four doors. Now, uh, naturally, it has four-wheel drive. It's uh, the only model apart from the GTR to have it. But then, it only has two-wheel steering, so yeah, that's it. Uh, okay, so uh, next up is the 25 GT4 L selection, and uh, the engine stays the same. And you can also have it both as a manual and an automatic, but it's only available with four doors. Yeah, only a sedan. Uh, the rest is the same, so four-wheel drive, two-wheel steering, great. And uh, last but not least is the uh, 25 GT X4. Again, since the, it has the X, the trim is a bit different, but uh, it comes with the RB25D, non-turbo. Uh, it's only available with a four-speed automatic, it's only available as a four-door sedan, so that's that. And naturally, it has the four-wheel drive, but two-wheel steering. Yeah, that's that's quite a lot, but I just hope uh, you can stay with me on this one. And yeah, so the thing to remember is the ENR34, the GT4, is the only one apart from the GTR to come with four-wheel drive, and that. It's only available with a non-turbo engine. But there's also an interesting thing, because actually we got quite some inquiries from you about uh, this car, but uh, the truth is these are rather rare because uh, the total number of the ENR, the total build number of the ENR 34 is somewhere, I think a bit less than uh, 3,500 cars, which is, to just give you an idea, it's one third of the GTRs, R34 GTRs ever built, and it's less than one tenth of the ER34s built. So, yeah, it's uh, really rare, and that is why we do not have uh, a lot of them lying around. Now, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, we are currently going through our inventory and we will put up more cars as we go. Uh, now, there might be an ENR34 lying around here somewhere, but yeah, we just want you to understand that this actually is, for some reason, a pretty rare uh, model. Okay, great. And then finally, we get to the HR34, the People Skyline. Okay, and here we are, the HR34. So the basic version is the GT or 20 GT. Uh, it comes with the RB20D, uh, naturally aspirated 2 liter engine. And then you can have it as a 5 speed manual or a uh, 4 speed automatic. You can have it as a coupe with two doors or sedan with four doors. It comes with rear wheel drive and uh, two wheel steering. That's pretty basic, I guess. And there's also the GT Special Edition, which is almost the same apart from the trim. And then it's uh, only available with the four speed automatic and uh, as a four door. 
So yeah, that's it. That's quite a lot to go through. I mean, for just uh, three models, not counting the GTR, it's it's quite a lot, you know, because it's just yeah, it's just the ER34, the ENR34, and the HR34. But in total, it's at least eight different specifications. Not counting the uh, all the different combinations, so uh, manual, two door, manual four door, and so on. So it it really can get confusing. Yeah, we understand, but yeah, this uh, I mean th this uh, was uh, just some basics. So uh, we apologize if if it doesn't help you at all but yeah maybe it will make things just a little bit easier yeah and that's it so if again if you have any questions any questions at all about the cars please just uh, reach out to us and we will answer them to our best ability and yeah that will be it for this week and uh, oh just one important thing at the end so um, As I said, the inventory will be ever growing. So uh, we have a lot of our 34 Skylines, but each and every one of them has to be checked up first to see if it actually can be imported to the US. Then we need to check it up like mechanically to see uh, what is wrong with the car or, or if everything is all right and so on. And then uh, we have to prepare pictures, videos, and so on, which uh, does take a lot of time. So, but the inventory, the inventory will be updated regularly. So yeah, we just want you to know it's not just uh, uh, 15 cars or how many there are up right now. There will be more to come, but it will take just some time. We will make sure to update the inventory as soon as we're done with another batch of cars so yeah please stay tuned and yeah we'll see you again thanks for watching goodbye